Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use streams in Node.js. Specifically, we will talk about readable stream in this video. And in the next video, we will talk about writable stream in Node.js. So let's get started. So first of all, what are streams? Streams are Unix pipe that lets you read data from a source and write data to a destination right so for example you want to read a data from a very big file or from a source which has lots and lots of uh, data and because you are running a server you don't want to block your server right so if you want to read this file you may want to or you would like to read this file in chunks or you know small portions and once this portion is read you want or you can do something right and streams allows us to do the same so streams allows us for example we want to read a big file streams allows us to read this file chunk by chunk and it will also give the information that this chunk is read and uh, if a whole file is read or not or we can do many uh, you know events uh, from this uh, data right so let's see how we can use uh, streams specifically readable streams right so to use streams we will use the fs module module and we have already seen how we can include uh, this module in uh, node.js just use var fs is equal to require fs now we will create a variable called for example readable stream is equal to fs dot create read stream and uh, this takes a uh, argument which is the name of the source so for example i have uh, this file whose name is file.txt and it says uh, relatively big data so it has around 5200 5, lines of uh, data i just copied a uh, random data from some source and for example i want to read this data right now uh, this file name uh, here we will give as an argument so just give file dot txt because it's in the same directory you can see here and now we can use this variable read stream let's name it read stream instead of readable stream okay so this read stream we can uh, use to uh, listen for some event so basically whenever you use uh, create read stream it inherits from event emitter and we have already uh, seen how to use event em emitters in the previous videos so it inherits from em event emitter so we can call uh, the method which are present in event emitter class also so we can uh, you know trigger on event or emit uh, method using this read stream now there is a predefined uh, event in uh, create read stream which is called data okay and which allows us to read uh, our uh, file in chunks so just write uh, read stream and then we will just write on which we are inheriting from event emitter and we will listen for the event called data and then we will just create an anonymous function here and this anonymous function will read chunk of data so just write chunk and then we will just uh, close our function okay so in this variable whenever this uh, event is triggered then this chunk uh, will contain some chunk of data from this file right this chunk variable will be full and then we will uh, you know use this chunk of data from this file okay so 
for example what i want to do is i want to just uh, console log this data so i will just write console log chunk here okay and uh, one chunk of data is read so we can uh, just give a line kind of a console log here so we know that this is one chunk okay after this line right so let's see how it works so i'm going to just open the terminal and run my app and you can see there are few chunks which are read from this file okay so you can see um, my first of all this line is uh, you know printed on the terminal because of uh, this console log and then we have the chunk of data and then again this uh, line again and this chunk of data so it's uh, reading the data in chunks and when uh, all the file is read then uh, we have the output but this is not familiar because uh, this is uh, reading in hacks right we haven't defined what type of uh, data we are reading so you can see in the file.txt we have uh, normal uh, you know normal text and it's reading in uh, hex data right so how we can tell uh, this uh, function or method to read in readable text you can guess i think you can just uh, write here the type the second argument is utf8 for example and then just save it and then we will run it again and now you can see it's reading in the normal text so you can see this line and then the chunk of data which is read and once again we will see when we will go a little bit up so this is the next line and whenever you will go up you will see uh, these uh, this kind of line so now we are reading the normal text but in chunks again right so this uh, event data will allow us to read uh, the file for example in chunks right and whenever one chunk is read you can do some logical uh, you know stuff with this uh, chunk of data right now there is one another uh, event called end so you know that you have uh, completed reading the file so instead of data whenever you use end and let's instead of uh, this console log we just say end end here okay and uh, let's read the file again or execute the program again and once this uh, data is read this line is printed which is due to this triggering of event called end event okay so once the file is read completely this event will be triggered and then this line will be printed or whatever code you will uh, write here will be printed so for example i will uh, create a variable here called uh, data right and what i want to do is i want to store all the uh, you know text of the file in this variable and once my data is uh, read or once my file is read i want to print the content of uh, this data so instead of uh, this what i can do here is i can just write data plus equals uh, chunk something like this so what it's going to do is it's going to concatenate this chunk into this data variable right and once uh, all the file is read i want to print it so uh, I will just do console log here and I will print this data variable. So this essentially will contain all the file content. Okay. And let's uh, just comment this uh, code out because we don't need it. And let's run the program again. So program is uh, running. So this time once the you know data is read then it's printed using this uh, console log because 
we are not uh, you know printing using this we have already commented out right so this time it this uh, line is printing this text all the text okay and once the text is uh, printed this line of code will execute and it will print end here which is happening here okay so this is how basically you can uh, use uh, readable streams in uh, node.js right now there are many options uh, related to read stream and uh, write streams so for example one of the option we have set here instead of setting the encoding from the second argument there is a special method which you can use to set this encoding which is uh, the set encoding so instead of uh, this you can even do this also and the code will run fine okay so let's run the code again and it's going to run it you know normally okay so just go to the node.js uh, documentation on its website and you will find many useful uh, functions and methods there which you can use in your code according to your requirement this is just uh, the introduction to you know streams and uh, specifically the readable streams so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now